When I first started creating tutorials, I had a tough time finding software that would record my screen in a high quality and the audio as well in a way that I liked until I found OBS. Now OBS is open source and free and you can download it from the link in the description of this video. And this is just gonna be a quick start to show you everything you need to know, all of the basics to get you started with capturing your screen and audio. Now OBS can be used for streaming, but in this video, we're gonna specifically focus on capturing our video to hard drive. So let's get started. And we can see that our screen is black. So the first thing that we need to do is set up a source. So if we come down here to the sources and click on the plus, we have a variety of options here, but we wanna capture our display. So I'll click once and select that. I'll just leave it at the default name of display capture, but you can put in whatever you'd like here if you're gonna be setting up multiple sources to capture. I'll click okay. And then we have a menu for the properties of the display capture that we've set up. And I'm just gonna leave these as they are for automatic and just click okay on this. Now we can see our source is being captured. We have this frame around our video that we can use to determine what we're going to set as the size, but I'm just gonna leave this at the full size and this snaps into position there. And my screen resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 and we can see that that's there. So just pay attention that you're capturing the resolution that you want. Also, we can see below here, we have an audio mixer and I have a USB audio interface with a separate mic. So I'm using that to capture the audio. I'm not using the microphones that are built into my laptop. So one way that you can check what you are using as your capture device for your mic would be by coming to this gear icon. Then we can come down to the properties and then we can see I'm using my Focusrite USB audio device there. If you'd prefer to use something else, you can click here and you can see the other options that are available for you. For instance, this would be the microphone array that's built into my laptop. I'll click OK. And also notice that down at the bottom, we have advanced audio properties. So we can click on this and make some adjustments here. For instance, my microphone for the narration, the signal was pretty low. So I, in this field, increase this by 10 dB. So you can just click here and put in a new value if your mic is too quiet. And if you notice also that I have two separate sources, audio sources that I'm capturing, one for the desktop, any sounds that applications make, and then one for my narration. And if you're only seeing one source here, I'll show you how I added a second one. And I have these being recorded to two discrete tracks so that when I access the file that this outputs in my video editor, I'm gonna have a separate track for my narration and one for the audio coming from my laptop or the applications. One other thing important to note here is that we have a setting for mono. So for the narration, I did select mono because I don't want that to be recorded in stereo. It's just cleaner for me to work with a mono file for my audio. But the audio coming from the desktop, I don't want that to be in mono. I'd like to keep that stereo signal. Now let's go ahead and close out of here. And before you begin recording for your audio levels, just make sure that you're going into the green or maybe touching the yellow a little bit. You don't wanna go into the red because then you'll be clipping. So you can play back a video file or something on the internet and test your desktop audio here to make sure that those levels are set properly. And then you can use these sliders to make any adjustments if you need to take it down or boost it up a little bit. So now let's come to the bottom right hand corner and take a look at our settings menu here. And we're just gonna to touch on the most important things here. I'll do a more in-depth video uh, soon, but this is just to get you started. We won't worry about the general settings here. Uh, we won't worry about streaming, but the output, we'll take a look at that. This first tab is gonna be for your streaming. We're specifically talking about recording to hard drive. So let's select that. Now, if what you're seeing here looks a little bit different than yours, just notice that there's an output mode and I have that switched to the advanced. So you can switch yours to advanced if you want to follow along with these settings. At the very top here, we have recording path and this is gonna allow you to choose the location where that final video file is gonna be stored at so you can access that. So all of this video is gonna be stored in this desktop items folder on my desktop there when I stop the recording. And that's where I'll be able to find it. 
Now this next one we have is recording format. I have MP4. You have a different selection that you can make, a variety to choose from there. And I don't wanna make this a video about what settings are the best that you should use for your situation. But if you're happy with the quality of this video and the audio, you can clearly see what settings I'm using and I'll just leave it at that. Um, now the audio track, this is how I was able to get two sources, audio sources, one for narration and one for the desktop. I select the second. And again, this is just gonna make editing in post the audio and mixing the levels between the applications and narration much easier when they're recorded to two separate audio tracks. So this is where you can make that adjustment. Now the encoder I'm using is 264. You have some other choices available to you there. And again, you may wanna do your own research and decide what settings are gonna be the best for you. Here we have the 1920 by 1080 for the screen resolution that I'm capturing. You can rescale by clicking here to activate this. Um, and then at the bottom for rate control, I'm using CRF and with a setting of 23, my CPU usage is set to very fast. And then coming back up to the top, we then have an audio tab. Now for the two tracks that I'm capturing, I wanted to have the best quality audio. So the bit rate I've set to 320, that's as high as we can go. The replay buffer, we won't worry about that. Now let's move on to the audio here. I've got that set for sample rate of 48 Hertz, stereo channels, we then have an area for choosing our sources, the uh, desktop audio. So clicking there, we can choose between different things, the audio output and then the microphone. We can make adjustments here between sources, but these are redundant. And if I just cancel out of here, these gear icons would probably be a better area to set and check these before you begin your recording. So for our desktop audio, if I click on that gear and choose properties, I always pretty much check this to be sure that it's set properly before I go into my recording for the microphone. I want that to be on the focus, right? So coming to properties again, that's set as I want because you never want to go on recording for 30 minutes or an hour. And then in the end, find that you're not capturing in the proper source. So now that you've got everything set up, all you have to do is click on start recording and then you're gonna be all set to record whatever you'd like. When you're finished, this is gonna say stop recording and you just click on stop recording to stop. And so we will wrap up here. Again, I just wanted to put something together really quick to help get you started as quick as possible. Uh, I'll be doing something more in depth in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.